Hi, everybody, and welcome to Math 107. Um, I apologize for the extremely long orientation. Um, and I'm just going to start with a quick summary of what you do in this class, and then I'll go back and go over some things in detail. So here's a quick summary of the class. Every day you'll be assigned um, some work to do. Uh, let me just pick this section at random. There will be videos, textbook homework, and a quiz. Maybe some discussions. So, but, but essentially videos, textbook homework, a quiz, you do those three things and you're done and that's what you do every day, right? So how do you do, do those three things? First of all, the video, you play the video, um, put it in full screen. Okay, this video we're going to look at. And just write the examples down on paper. Imagine you're in a classroom and you're writing stuff off the board. That's how you do the videos. It is the most important part of the class. I'll say that many times over. Pretty much any student I've ever had who's done all the video examples has passed easily. OK, so if you do the video examples, you'll have a great time. If you don't, it might not be fun at all. You will get lots of points for doing the video examples. We'll talk about turning those in. A summary is you just take pictures of your paperwork and you turn it in at the end of the module. Like when you take the chapter test, that's when you turn in all of your um, paperwork, your video notes and your textbook homework. OK, so so. Here's a video, and then we're doing textbook homework, and it's listed here what to do. Don't do all of the textbook homework. Just do what you're asked to do on Canvas. We have written down all of the examples from the video. We do this textbook homework, and then we go to the next video, write down all the examples on paper, and then we do the textbook homework listed here. And then we go to this video, write down the examples on paper, and do this textbook homework, and we do this discussion. And then we take the quiz. Um, when you take the quiz, it will simply ask, or usually just ask for the answers you got to even numbered textbook homework questions, like here, question four, question eight, question 10, question 12. See that? So it's asking you for answers to your even numbered textbook homework. So if you've done your textbook homework, you just look at your answers, type them into the quiz, and then you submit the quiz. I didn't do very well, I got nothing, but that's okay because you can take a quiz over and over and over again to get a higher score. Um, when you're doing your tech, if you get stuck on a question, notice that some of them are highlighted in blue. That means I've already explained the answer. If you're stuck on question 14 here, for example, I click on that and whoops, there's the answer, explain, right? Question 13, I actually made a video and that'll walk you through question 13. See that? So watch out for watch out for textbook homework questions that are already highlighted in blue. The answer is already given. Okay, so that's essentially the course. Videos, textbook homework, quiz. Out of that, the most important thing is the videos. Got to go to class. Okay. So the orientation is extensive, but it's also there so that you can refer back to it throughout the quarter. So if you're thinking, I wonder how do I test from home? Well, go here, it'll tell you. I wonder how do I turn in my video homework? It'll tell you right here how to turn in your written work. How do I uh, connect Canvas to my email address? It's right here and so on, right? How do I use Zoom? It's right there. Okay, so essentially, if you just go through the orientation now and just do everything in the orientation, that'll guide you through the rest, okay? Um, so what do I need to say from here? Um, you know, this page is for the textbook and like there's a video that will guide you through it and talks all about the textbook. Um, the, by, the, by the way, I, w one thing you need to know is I've already uploaded the homework for the first two weeks. So if you don't have the textbook, you can get started working immediately. You don't need the textbook to get started working. Um, what else? Uh, introduce yourself. That's self-explanatory. Here's the syllabus. Here's the schedule. Um, 
how to turn in your written work. There's a video that explains all of that on that page. Please watch the video. Um, there's different ways for different devices, you know, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Chromebook. There's different ways of turning in, of, 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 uh, taking pictures of things and turn it into one file and, and, and that. So, so depending on your device, you'll have different instructions. So that's what that's about. Uh, math help. Again, I have a video on that and I want you to watch it. Um, video homework, most important thing. Um, you can contact me anytime. I teach online. I'd be delighted to help you. Give me a call. We'll, we'll do some tutoring. I have a camera uh, uh, on a piece of paper that I can help you with. So, um, so it looks like this. See, I'll, I'll have a camera on a piece of paper right? Um, so, uh, so everybody, if, if you call my phone, like I'm an online teacher and look, see, I've got a camera on a piece of paper and pens and we can, you know, do math here. And of course I'll have the same book as you. So, so let's, let's be calling me. Most students don't uh, contact me enough. That's the problem. Uh, and they, they say, oh, I didn't want to bug you, but I can go through entire days where nobody talks to me. So, um, yeah, please contact me for help. OK, um, so that's math help. Again, uh, computer help is here. I talk about that here. Is already, I already made a video for for this. So so you'll see that as you go through the orientation. Please watch that. Um, there's a 60 and 70 quiz just to see if, you know, hopefully, like if you've already passed math 60 and math 70, you can just skip those quizzes. Don't even do them. I don't care. I, I just want, just in case, you know, you're here and, and, and you take these quizzes and you get, I don't know, one out of 10 or something. And like, we need to talk because, you know, let's, let's, let's know if you're struggling with the math, the sooner we know, the better, the sooner I can help you with tutoring or, or, you know, worst case scenario, just move you to a pre-college math class to build up some skills. Right. And then you can come back to us in 107, maybe next quarter or, or something. So, but if you're struggling with the math, I want you to talk to me. You need to let me know. Um, the worst thing you could do is struggle with math, say nothing, and then, um, you know, fa be failing the class in week three, and then it's too late to do anything about it. Okay. So need to be, let me know how the class is going. All right. And these, these quizzes are just, they won't affect your grade. They're just there to, to give me an idea of where you're at, at the beginning. Right. Um, so we have a weekly chat that the, for, for all of us to meet up, if you can't make this, that's fine. It's optional, but I do want to talk to everybody at least once a week. So please give me a call at least once a week, anytime I, I teach online, I'm available. Um, let's just talk about how the class is going. Some of the concepts in the class, maybe current events, math in the real world, um, maybe some advising help. Um, uh, what classes do you need for next quarter? Um, who do you contact for financial aid? Who knows? Just, just feel free to talk to me about your general success as a student. Um, uh, all testing is from home. It's all explained here in this page. Um, please read everything here. But essentially, to test from home, you call my phone, you pop into Zoom, and you share your screen, and that's it. And I have every student in their separate breakout room so that you're on your own. You're not distracted by anybody else. Okay. Um, and so again, please read everything here. Uh, and I'll explain that. Um, you get some points for talking to me um, on, you know, at the beginning of the quarter. Um, and that that's part of the orientation is to, is to, is to either attend the zoom meeting on Tuesday evening um, or to give me a phone call and just, talk about instructions for the class. And then you'll take this orientation quiz and then check your grades uh, here on the left. So um, welcome to the class and look forward to meeting y'all and chatting and uh, best of luck.